uh, are we uh, are we are we working yeah is is this going is is this functioning is every single thing in line online at the line with the line over the line because of the line uh, anyways here we are um, yeah it, it is working it is going it is functioning i guess um, is it is is everything okay uh, yeah I, I guess it is so anyways i i wanted to let me try to readjust every single thing i needed to not, not that i need i simply wanted to try and continue on whatever is it that we left uh, also fuck i thought it, it wasn't going to be that way uh, give me a second give me just one second i i want to see if i can change this now that it is a little bit tinier uh, transition there it is there it, it should be now yeah i shouldn't be needing to worry anymore about that um, so anyways there we have it i i guess uh, i don't know i i want simply to say that i i don't know i don't even know what i want to say we have so many things to say that that's kind of a problem always but the main thing is in this case um it is quite amazing to see that here we are in terms of presence because yeah you wouldn't expect for it to be to a certain extent so easy to adjust yourself to do stuff like this so yeah in one hand surprisingly nice to be here on the other we need to continue with whatever and uh, sadly as always i had already done as they will call it tabula rasa on whatever is it that we were talking about the last time so i i have no way to know what i should be continuing with particularly so yeah have a, have a nice day and don't expect me to continue any other thing that I was particularly talking about last time, I that is one of the few bad qualities I guess of having too many things to always think about that as time passes I end up changing fully what I had been focusing on. And by the very nature of that I also unavoidably end up not even recording i guess properly what is the continuation of the other sides that compose this very or yeah sentence that we are formulating let's say so in in a sense it doesn't need to be so much of a problem that whatever is it we were talking about the last time doesn't get mentioned it shouldn't be anything negative like that it, it is just a clarification for whoever says wow why did you have something so interesting to say and you decided to do it i didn't decide it it's more like i i can't hold it in my mind it's it's bound to disappear if it is in my mind it is bound to disappear as long as i as i am alive i will i will forget too many things and uh, instead of that uh, realm of too many things even what i believe is valuable will be forgotten at some point or another so yeah anyways um after a little bit of that um, i guess now we can properly say that we had uh, began or begun with um, yeah any, anything i guess i i simply wanted to last the last event that happened officially has been I, I was thinking and i was trying to as always make sense of this thing that is being alive i was trying my best to properly get an even better picture of this whole realm 
that is composed by reality and whatnot. And uh, the surprising thing is, I I have started to finally advance quite quite immensely, even more in the picture itself of what is the yeah what is the wholeness of this. The on one hand, it isn't like the world itself is fully incomprehensible it doesn't work like that it is more like a one thing comprised by the many in which the possibility of making any one other new implementation work instead of it always resides in the hands of those who try to do so while willingly understanding that there is no possibility of completely inserting something that might fully change the status quo, let's say, because it is an impossible task to modify based on other type of rules. It is an impossible task to try and modify the whole world in which you inhabit by virtue of exerting yourself I will even go as far as to say unnecessarily in terms of those that in terms of those things sorry that are only comprised by the majority of those aspects which at the end of the day might be beneficial to change but which the whole normality of the of the world itself can't even recognize as something harmful. And I guess, yeah, to, to a certain extent, in, in speeches like that, there is a problem with big words, because if you say harmful, how can you properly define something that might be harmful or whatnot? And all of those things are always a question to yeah, to properly hold in your head after all. You don't know how much of an effect it might have to denominate any kind of thing harmful. So that that's why also coming up with something of that sort is by itself really hard. But at the same time, it is the capacity to try and be capable of foreseeing the consequences of what you say in this case that allows something like that to be said implying or assuming that somebody not not a strict somebody anybody rather who is on the other side who wishes to understand the meaning itself of the words that you are trying to compose into any particular sentence is by itself big enough to be capable of dispelling properly what is it that you are to a certain extent ex encrypting with the language that you decided to use so yeah it is quite a complicated task so far and it is quite a at the same time quite a wonderful one i will say you recognize with enough time that and this is something we have even been talking about the art of communicating is indeed something quite wonderful because it can happen in every kind of area and it is to a certain degree obviously the most necessary one to have but being capable of using it for any purposeful meaning let's say something that truly seems to be subjected to inner desires which we can categorize as potentially beneficial for everybody using communication for those type of things is indeed not only a shown itself that takes on anybody who tries to utilize language for those very same interests in one of the most i, I don't think i am lying when i say most splendid adventures that the language itself can give you but also it is something quite wonderful also because you can discover how even in this case we are talking simply about the most basic type of communication that can be speech even in that you recognize or if you keep trying 
more correctly to say, you will start to be capable of recognizing how even the most normal type of language can show any kind of meaningful thing that might as well allow the comprehension of that unborn idea which could remain inside of anybody else. So yeah, it is quite ex quite an eccentric way to say basically that he, if you can properly talk, you might as well have a, a huge possibility of obtaining what you want in, in any kind of aspect in life. And I guess in this case it simply is um, a part of that same thing that in you have somebody like me who tries to explain so many other sides of this world in a manner in which everybody who tries to follow the whole development of what is being said might also have a better possibility at understanding the very same things with with enough time given, I would say, though, because I don't I don't understand that so far. We have been here for a little bit more than 300 uh, days in terms of streams and I don't know so far certainly through my own such subjectivity I couldn't say if anybody could potentially binge every kind of thing that has been said so far because one of the many problems I guess is that being here talking about so many things such a wide range of ideas means by itself that we should somehow be capable of getting into enough things that the development and the acceptance of those ideas even more if they are not even integrated beforehand requires by itself sometimes so yeah i i guess it it comes with enough patience on one hand but i i don't think so it represents a problem anymore at or i believe i have been trying to change let's say the chip in terms of that i you can recognize how important it is to possess enough patience about a high degree of things because many of them don't really require you to be fully adapted to what they represent in terms of yeah in terms of a more concrete example something along the lines of you don't need to understand how the whole earth itself moves in the solar system for it to keep working it is something that doesn't require you to interact with it in any kind of degree and because of that very same nature you don't even need to worry if you are or not playing your role properly in a high high degree of topics that we talk about here but at the same time and that is kind of the other side of this coin compared to something so abstract like what i just said um, this idea of the earth itself and its movement around the sun besides something that might as well be so huge and so impossible to harness in terms of just one individual most of the ideas that we discuss here do have indeed the opposite quality of those who can understand correctly, deeply what is being said here and can't find enough of an interest towards the action of change that might get instigated in what we say in those spaces might indeed have a possibility of properly yeah but obviously properly modifying their environment in order to 
successfully alter the reality in which we live. Let's say so. It isn't like whatever happens here has no explanation at all or something like that. And it is more along the lines of it just takes, once again, the patience comes not from what we are talking about here, but rather from the capacity to let those ideas marinate instead of whoever is trying to pay attention to what happens. Because when that is what I was referring to, the proper comprehension itself of what gets said here needs to be more than developed in terms of a basic degree of understanding about what gets said. So it, it will take time, but at the same time, once again, the understanding of say the principle doesn't really mean that it is something bad. It is just the nature of what we are doing, I guess, that we will see quite a lot of the results that we might even be looking for. Um, after incredibly long hours, I, I will describe it as. But yeah, um, basically something like that, I, I guess, has been one of the many things that I have been... I, I don't even know if it is meaningful in that sense. If we have a kind of um, talk about it. So I, I guess it is quite appropriate to mention that. I don't even know if it is meaningful enough or not, or on the contrary, quite harmful to try and mention something like something that I had been worrying about. I, I don't feel like I had been losing my sleep, I, I believe. When you say worries, worries, it refers more to the realm of those things that keep you, besides the most obvious definition that I already gave of, they keep you alive. Uh, or they keep you up at night. Besides that, you also have some other things that are more in the realm of, and they also simply, let's say, make you pay attention, I guess, to every other thing that happens. And by the virtue of that, you end up realizing later on if what you thought the world to be is or not. But... Yeah, I, I don't think in this case it is more like a real war. It is simply yet another subject that seems interesting to dig on in order to try and, as always, make sense of. But yeah, that's basically the whole explanation for that. I When I say worry, I guess that worry hasn't been hasn't been so far properly changed. When I say worrying, I am not I do not mean most of the time that I have been truly worrying. It is simply the old habit of calling worries any kind of thing that <laughs> makes you think to any kind of theory, no not not the reality itself of wow I had been losing my mind over trying to comprehend any one thing. No, it doesn't work like that, but yeah. Anyways, I guess, um, also, please give me a second. So yeah, basically, basically something like that, I guess. I, I don't know. I would, I would say that just, just that, I, I, I the problem is, <laughs> most of the time I feel like I have already said everything, and uh, I had before tried to describe that I also have this degree of fear, and this is a real type of fear of, I realize that I might be going too fast for what I just mentioned, the proper comprehension of what gets talked about here to happen in any kind of degree. And I feel like the whole process ends up getting quite... The proper word might be harmed. More like 
negatively change into anything let let's say and uh, i i do not know if continuing with some explanations and whatnot is truly useful i simply i simply have the interest to continue with any kind of any kind of other thing that has been said i guess so yeah I I do not worry that much. I do not I do not worry that much when things might seem to be not so understandable. It is also sadly and that is that is not not a worry. It it goes more along the lines of what a quite a bad aftertaste that will always be there is how little we do encourage people to explore what has been already said in terms of because it is also the very in the very same nature of what we discuss here the possibility to understand and to observe properly that what we do say doesn't really possess any kind of weird category and most of the time the most important part is and even if it did i have the possibility of going back and reanalyzing what we have just talked about you don't need to worry about missing something in terms of not getting the whole picture that tries to be created in this case even more with something so uh, volatile i think it is the proper way to say it like words it is fully comprehensible to wish to go back and uh, re-hear what has been said and be capable of observing with enough patience what are the main ideas so i don't try to say it in a way of wow suddenly also what we say here will disappear and it will never have any kind of impact in in anywhere it it is i guess sadly for those who might even wish that it, it it's not all reality <laughs> that's not all reality we have the possibility of experiencing something so wonderful as nowadays every kind of thing that we might wish to talk about being always there remaining always there for years to come let's say and you never know if there isn't going to be something wonderful to discover next in what has already been explored let's say and it doesn't come out of nowhere if it isn't understandable enough it doesn't appear as a new idea that wow where did this thing try to even come from why is yes to be mentioning something like this because you realize once you exist for long enough i i i will describe it as <laughs> once you exist for long enough you find out that indeed most of the creations that we have in our hands nowadays didn't come off due to one particular discovery that was instantaneously implemented many 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 of the influential things that make up the reality that we have today were understood by society as a whole or were integrated into the wholeness of society at the very least because there isn't even a full comprehension of many of those things many of those things were at the very least integrated in the society as a whole after years of time spent trying to 
properly get what in many cases one creator one author one thinker i will describe it as um talked about so or showed the rest that is also part of part of this thing that there isn't even that much of a necessity to just believe that in in this case i i can only mention words because i can only exist in a, in a realm of words so i am more bound by something like that it isn't like i i truly see or i truly believe wow um, there are only going to be words that <laughs> modify this world it is just that personally i i have an easier time just referring to the realm of words but yeah even more concrete ideas and more concrete creations themselves exert their influence on reality after long enough periods of time so yeah it is basically going back to what i mentioned before patience patience is is quite the key i guess and uh, yeah I, I don't know i i guess anybody who tries to go on such a journey has probably already realized that at some point or another even if it obviously even if it is always a properly mentioned idea and concept you you can see and you can feel like there are quite a handful of ways in which you might picture this whole thing that is simply say being alive and you can make sense out of all of that in the most simplest of the manners without having one second to worry about how much you are truly making sense out of all or in the case of somebody like me like whoever tries to pay attention to this basically you, you also have in front of you the possibility to make everything so meaningful in any kind of way that it might as well be an adventure not just worth trying to go into but it rather becomes a, an incredibly surprising journey to go on because it transforms it, it, it simply is the adventure of life to a certain extent so it is quite expected for it to transform everything let's say but there is no way in which simply saying wow yeah this is this is part of life will fully show all, all of what we are talking about here i guess so that is also the other side of this problem that <laughs> the patience needed for the rest to properly get what one tries to mention here needs to be quite high and i guess that is kind of the final point of many of these adventures that the capacity to fully but really fully be capable of accepting that it is a matter of time until the message itself gets accepted is quite a not just a huge one in terms of wow it, it, it will take time but rather it is quite a quite a nice experience because it shows you that indeed there might be something quite wonderful later on to discover and uh, by the virtue of that it also shows you that there might as well be something later on even better to try and take advantage of let's say so i don't worry too much i guess i that's that's the point basically time as as long we can see it as what it is something that extends so incredibly well in terms of 
its duration in front of us and something that will make most of our ideas come true if we can obviously also keep doing our side in terms of acting throughout time it stops being a problem and it stops being something that as i said here makes it look like wow it, it is going to be impossible to to get anything to be comprehensible it it is just part of part of being here i guess but i, I don't know it is also something that i am to a certain extent i have mentioned yet or i have mentioned so far things that i fully get and that is the limit of what i do fully comprehend because i also have another side of that very same line of ideas in which something was said i i think it was in an interview by carl young i think it was because it goes along the lines of also in that very same concept of and once a human becomes capable of seeing themselves as something that might as well be an infinite living being it is then that you obtain the capacity of living your life to the fullest because it is in the creation of long enough projects it is in the belief that you might as well never reach your end and it is in the capacity to hold inside of your mind the concept the idea that there might not be a finish line in terms of you might as well have so much to do in so many ways and with so many varieties of things and you you can create enough of a of a new urgency for you to try and act upon that knowledge inside of that realm lies the possibility of propelling oneself i don't want to say it but it should be quite obvious that it is a proper movement towards i guess the final or not not the final as if as in something that will be finally or or yeah quite the opposite not something that will be the the one and only meaning that you will have but rather something that will finally that's that's the proper explanation something that will finally make it seem necessary to keep going in, in terms of that and uh, it is also why there is the discussion of something like what is the perception of in in this case time in, in other in many other ways the capacity to simply see that the stuff will require time therefore something more along the lines of patience it is simply that that you discover that this whole journey isn't so so hard let's say but i don't know i i i do not like to mention those things i have discovered that it is quite meaningful to try and look for any one particular thing to blame but if it serves any kind of purpose for anybody i do believe that something that does influence along these lines and something that does modify whatever else we thought about in that very same sense something that keeps or that have been maintained throughout time has been the way in which we have accepted the whole narrative instead of nowadays world of how little of an existence anybody might have and how fragile human life is in terms of the powerlessness of what you might do or what you might modify let's say so it, it has stopped being a problem in that sense it simply is an idea of sorts let's say and uh, yeah, just the acceptance of that nothing nothing else i would describe it as and uh, 
I simply, I guess that's that's kind of the problem. I simply wish for it to be understandable, but yet again, only time can tell if what we try to say here will be understandable or not. And <laughs> sadly, that is that is quite a sad reality, though. Also, that sadly we don't even have any more that that much of a tendency towards instigating the message that and it is quite fine to be patient and it is quite fine even more to reanalyze what has been said it is simply part of the nature of trying to get yourself into a better picture so I can only encourage that but the possibility of going back retracing what is the last blurry image that you have in your mind about something and making it finally fully fledged is is just a concept that i can give you but the possibility of doing so is as always only in your hands to execute i no matter how much i try it might as well not happen if you don't try to make it happen. So I I don't know. It isn't that much of a worry anyways in that sense. It's just the very nature of how this works, I guess. But I don't know. I will, I will say it is quite a wonderful thing still to see. I love that happening around you, I guess. It, it always becomes quite a substantial experience to observe how efforts pay off in any kind of way. So, certainly, besides what I just said of, even if the possibility of doing things lies in your hands, also the chance to see those results will be yours if you can properly work towards that but not not saying that as something that means like with enough time and effort you will gain what you want it is a little bit beyond that simple conception of that it is more along the lines of and once you can fully start to move towards that wish in a correct manner, you will discover that indeed the possibility to find satisfaction in what you do wasn't just there in terms of enjoyment, but also gave every other thing enough as a, oh, of a justification so yeah it, it is as always something that can only be experienced by oneself but at the same time it doesn't mean that those who haven't done so so far will not have the possibility it is quite the opposite every single human being has that chance and I, I wouldn't even say, obviously, that having that reality is more harmful than accepting that as part of the concept that is being discussed here of doing things that feel good and whatnot, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess something along those lines. <laughs> something probably along those lines, but yeah. I, I also guess I will take a second. I, I want to drink water and something else. So let me take one second. And after that, probably I will see if I change topics. Perhaps. I guess something quite wonderful that I have discovered before taking one second is there isn't really that much of a need to go on about any one particular thing. 
once you have understood enough ideas, because the different explanations that you can come up with to the wholeness of what you understand is so big that there is no need for you to observe, let's say, what might be the next one particular thing you should go to. The problem obviously lies in if you have the necessity to just discuss one thing and one thing only. If you have that and if you truly need that, then it is quite required to center yourself. But if not, if it is something more along the lines of what happens here, no need to worry about it, I guess. There is really no need to worry at all about something like that. So, I don't know, think. Simply think, anyways. Give me, give me one second. So, anyways, um, we back. I I guess trying to not repeat what I just said. A wonderful thing, also is the chance to observe more stuff because I would be lying if I said anybody has that capacity by themselves by nature of existing one of the many good discoveries has been certainly that if you wish in any kind of way to get the whole picture, you will need to go into particular authors, let's say. And uh, I wouldn't know so far from my point, my actual point of view, my present time i would not know if it is that useful to try and guide anybody towards the very same ideas that i have already explored myself i wouldn't know if that is going to be in any kind of way useful it might as well be nice if and only if we are trying to be in the same line then and only then it means something for me to give you the same direction that I took towards being here let's say but most of the time that isn't even part of this that isn't even a necessity of being here. I I reckon that from the different paths that life might take any individual, we can still all achieve. I guess it wouldn't be a lie to say great things. So 
it feels quite bad then to try and create a discourse that encourages people to only take the one direction that was in my case personally taken. I do not believe it works like that and I do not see it as a necessity to be so strival about yeah yeah we are we have found this one idea and we have made sense of it and we have uh, justified everything or or whatever kind of other way you have to to view stuff you know it doesn't need to be seen as that that we are here despite any particular difference between who we are and we can very much talk the same language in terms of we can also get the very same concepts because after all also the concepts that we discuss at least so far pertain to the realm of what the language can explain so we don't even need to worry as, as long as what we discuss here stays in that very same lane, we don't need to worry. I guess obviously one of the many problems that will arise with enough given time will be the unavoidably negative side of suddenly there will be a time in which we will discover that we might be getting more far out there in terms of what we believe is being said because one of the many things that the language can't do is put into the limits of words orders of the nature that are beyond that which can be simply explained with a definition but at the same time, even those things aren't fully outside of the language or realm, let's say. At least the ones that have the most importance in our lives, there might obviously as always be. In a different order, there are always things that are outside of our understanding or actual understanding because they are concepts that we haven't started to even explore due to the nature of how they all work in regards to the rest of this of this universe we, we haven't we haven't discovered something and because we haven't had the possibility of discovering that one thing, we can't, we can't even try to give it any kind of sense. You can't predict and explain something that hasn't yet been by anybody else. This, not, not by anybody else. You can do it by yourself, but you can't explain something that hasn't been by itself, let's say, Discovered, I guess, will be the proper definition. I <sighs> that that is kind of the problem of trying to <laughs> trying to describe something like that. But, anyways, also good good evening, Sana. I hope you're doing well. I that is why once again I say many of the things that we talk about here, even if they might as well go outside of the normal boundaries of the regular language, they are still not devoid of it. So it doesn't mean that we have to worry about about all of those things. Uh, so yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Here, here it isn't an uh, evening. It is more like uh, 
I think the, the, the this another name for that. Morning, but the moment in which the sun hasn't even fully gone up, that uh, is it dawn? No, dawn. Dawn is when it's just starting to become the night, right? So when well, it's early, basically, that's the better way to say it. It's early, early enough for us here. So yeah. Uh, Ah, down? Yeah, yeah, then, okay, okay, then it is dawn, basically. It is dawn, the sunrise, basically, yeah. It is just dawn here. Um, I mean, quite surprisingly, because we aren't anymore in the middle of winter, so I don't know why it is taking so long to hear completely the sun, but yeah. Um, it's still dawn, but... It doesn't influence anything, really. It is just another thing, I guess, of another consequence of trying to be consistently here. <laughs> it is just part of appearing here that maybe this dawn, maybe this night, uh, it, it just happens like that. Yeah, yeah, here we are in the basically in the end of winter so it is starting to finally get a little bit hotter uh finally and not so yeah this winter in particular it has been quite cold i didn't expect that but we have survived yet another winter so we can keep going i guess that's that's the point of of this that we were capable of making it through so there are still more seasons to come we are going to um, the problem is i don't fully remember the names of those in in english i think it is winter fall summer and uh, Autumn? Autumn isn't... No, 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 no. Autumn and, and fall are, are the same thing, basically. Uh, the, the one in which everything grows, basically. So, yeah. Quite a, quite a nice time, basically. Quite a good time, after all. Quite, also, quite, quite surprisingly. And that has... That had become, or yeah, yeah, that, that has become quite a wonderful thing since the COVID times, I guess. Um, we we have quite a green space in general because I wouldn't say I live exactly in the city, so. It becomes quite green in the in this next season. It is always green, but it it becomes even more lively. So it is it is a wonderful thing, I guess. I I don't know. I, I never understood why we have that much of a necessity in living only in concrete and all of that, but at least here. We don't have to deal with that problem, and it is quite a wonderful thing, just because of that. But yeah, here, right now, I don't even know which tem temperature we're in, uh, but let me, okay, give me one second, because I, I can check that, and I will also check what is the name of the other season that comes after uh, winter. Uh, and there is thing. I don't even know spring here. Yeah. Thank you. I don't even know why I forgot um, how spring was named. But yeah, basically on, on spring, as always, everything gets to flourish. And that's that's quite a nice thing. Quite, a, quite an interesting sight to behold. But 
it is always kind of kind of green also it isn't really that much of a problem and okay here right now right this very moment what uh, anyway let me take correct why is this on buenos aires i don't live in buenos aires my brother uh, okay there it is we have uh, right now 10 10 celsius 10 centigrade i think it is no uh, <laughs> 10 celsius ah but I, I don't know it isn't anymore that cold it used to be at this time of the day like minus one minus two it, it was horrible when it was like that now it is better um, winter mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and summer they are eh? they are burning ah they are burning okay i understand yeah 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 but i mean <laughs> so far at least now or for now we 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 think we aren't going to have that much of a hot temperature after all yeah kind of suddenly in argentina we have that problem with the climate it sometimes varies so much that you can even have such high temperatures in you know in summer that quite literally stuff starts to burn but so far based on everything that has been predicted it shouldn't happen perhaps global warming my beloved will make it happen we, we have to pray for that to not be reality because also one second go back to what i mentioned before since covid times something that had started yeah that has had started to happen is that we had become a greener place a greener city state um, i don't know settlement basically and uh, it stops being so much of a trouble how much we contaminate and whatnot just because we have more plants and that that has been certainly quite a influential in in our times but yeah i don't know i i try to not really think that much about it but at the same time it in a way that is the reality that we are doing quite quite better compared at the very least to the to the notions i had before about it i mean yeah, certainly, I, I I do find it quite horrible to try and think about it, because I personally realize how much of a necessity there always has been about creating panic between the people, about how horrible the whole world is becoming in terms of, one second, global warming and whatnot, but at least in my city, quote unquote we have started to do quite well and we have changed the situation for the better even if we are still expanding and even if we are still becoming an even bigger city and we are finally approaching the proper requirements to be a city it doesn't mean that <laughs> we we have uh, in any capacity i guess so individually lost the connection that is true we have lost the connection with nature individually but as a whole as a whole city that hasn't happened and that hasn't become all reality so i i don't think it is that much of a true trueness i guess that we are doing bad with that it simply is part of i don't know i i don't like to think about it like that it shouldn't be or needs to be described as as an agenda or whatnot it simply is part of part yeah part of being here that you discover things are not so bad and the world isn't going to end in 20 years like some people likes to say basically so 
we are fine basically but I, I don't know that is that is always kind of the question of how good are we truly doing and how much time do we really have left because I don't know. One of the many worrisome things is in the present, in the modern world, you don't even know if there isn't a chance of total extermination completely beyond your capacity to determine if that does or doesn't happen. That is the only kind of bad thing. But every other thing that could be under our control might as well already be and we are truly based on those things that we understand we are truly working towards the embetterment of the whole st or yeah the situation itself as a whole quite actively and it has become quite a wonderful experience to finally see it happen besides the most negative aspect as i already said before of what might be a problem which could fully be unavoidable because we truly have no control over such decisions as a society itself or let, it makes more sense to say it like this we have accepted that we have no control over that and we have truly relinquished the responsibility of having something so influential to the hands of people who might as well seem more important than what they truly are. We have I, I don't know if I like where I am going with this, but that is part of the problems of the modern world that we have lost the capacity as a society to understand that we can indeed change the world in which we are living. And we have out of nowhere started to, to give more importance to what very few individuals have to say. Instead of properly getting this concept of society itself is bold by every single one of us. So there is that a negative side but at the same time we kind of also get this idea to some degree and we can kind of work around that and we can kind of justify everything that happens around here just i guess because we kind of fake it till we can fully get it how good can any one individual trying to work towards something is and basically basically that it it's just another side of that very same coin happening here we we are in the matters that we haven't so far decided to give up or res, or individual responsibility doing well and that feels nice that feels quite wonderful because i don't know it it simply is part of the process that you can understand what you have a good chance at becoming even better, I, I will say, and you start to work towards that. So I wouldn't say or I wouldn't describe it as any kind of negative thing to not be always trying to improve. And I mean, even better, I have started to kind of trace back and to kind of properly make ourselves aware of the necessity of change in a huge degree of things that are indeed modifiable by all of us because every single one of us can see the possibility and the necessity of change instead of those things. So it, it doesn't mean that what I had been talking about has or is only something that happens in very particular scenarios. It, we are even, as I said before, we are even changing that for the better. So 
I am quite happy with that. And uh, as always, it might look like we could be having in front of us a very bright future, but we have so far to see if one of the old problems of older society, I guess, in which we gave so much power to very few individuals, doesn't come to bite us in the back of our neck, let's say, because it, it isn't going to be a little bit of a damage. It might as well sever the whole connection that we have with everything else. Because that, that is kind of the problem, that we're not talking about, oh yeah, a very few people that might, I don't know, um, change how much water there is in the world available. And we might have to struggle to finally start um, processing seawater into properly drinkable water. No, we're talking about extinction itself and we're talking about and and you know what we have enough people around the world that if they want they can decide to end it all not for not just for themselves but for the whole world just because they have the possibility of making that decision and because we have given them the possibility of quote unquote representing incredibly huge masses of land so th that's where the problem lies and that's what i mean when i say that there are problems in, in that sense but as always also at some point it will happen that we will finally stop worrying about that and we will finally stop having to deal anymore with those troubles and whatnot but i, I don't know i guess That is always also another idea of about being here because you can realize suddenly that we are quite privileged. We can talk about these things here and we can even say something so incredibly bad like, oh yeah, and the very same system that sustains our existence is bad. What? No, 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 no. You don't even know what is bad. And your privileged position to say something like that shows how little you can understand something like that. Because you can't even picture how bad others have it. In a huge degree. Not in just a tiny amount. There are people... This is always not about comparing or suffering to somebody else, but there is always people who have it incredible incredibly worse right now they are in so much worse systems than what is the one we live in ourselves that it seems almost ridiculous to say oh wow and our actual system is bad no no no, no. our actual system just has one or two problems maybe let's say ten that are truly important. But those other ways in which societies arrange themselves in the present moment, not even in the past, in thousand year, a thousand years ago. No, 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 no. In the present moment, in other places of the world, how it's so much worse, it is impossible to picture how bad it is. And that's that's kind of also the, the point of fear, I, I guess, because it can be traced back into, and we have the possibility of changing our own system, and the even better part is we have the possibility of also trying to modify those who are so much worse, and who damage so much the human spirit itself, of those who live inside of that. That is the final part of this, and that is the most important side of this. That once you can fix 
that, that is <laughs> that is kind of the whole message of you can fix yourself because you you can also fix your home and once you can fix your home you can f fix your society once you can fix your society you can fix the whole systems that, that sustains your whole society and once you can fix the whole system that sustains your whole society you can in the final analysis finally move into fixing the rest of systems that interact with yours in order to align everything into a better picture the problem is while we have made figures seem so important we haven't really given them the possibility of working towards that because we are still incredibly limited in terms of accomplishing complete change in those other systems let's say which are once again so negative for everybody who lives in them so i i, I don't know it's just quite hard to picture because also sadly there has been no mention of any particular one system and which one is truly good, which one is truly bad, you simply have to base yourself around concepts, which which I haven't even to a certain degree mentioned. You simply have to understand that what is the point, <laughs> what, what is the idea that is being alluded to. So yeah, you, you can only expect to get what gets said without being said, but... If it doesn't happen, I am sorry. I I guess that is suddenly one of the many limitations of being here. That there also is a need to not give any kind of name in particular because in the end it, it is quite a bad to say, oh yeah, and you know which system in particular is bad? This one. That is incredibly bad. Or, and not, I, I guess... That is the biggest problem. You can't even get how much of a problem that can be for everyone. If you say something like that. You know, this one place, this one particular location has a system that doesn't work. You don't, you can't even picture how damaging something like that can be to you, to everybody whom you love. That is also why it is quite necessary to not say stuff. The change, at the least, so far can be made but once again the most important thing is firstly to properly arrange what is in your hands even if you know every single problem that exists in the, all of the systems that surround you you firstly need to be capable of ordering the one that holds you inside after that let's say like this after finally understanding what holds you back and after finally making those proper changes in order to have a good life instead of the system that holds you only then it is that you get the possibility of by virtue of utilizing all the tools that a system which allows any of its individuals to works to work with the wholeness of that sorry only then it is possible to try and change any other kind of system that might be out there interacting with yours it is i guess one of the very few times in which it is quite meaningful to say it is stupid to believe that you have the possibility of judging anybody else's system let, let's say any any kind of arrangement of their wo worlds and not realize that not only you're not going to really change anything you're also even putting yourself at risk for doing that and <laughs> If you truly want to change something, the most necessary thing should always be to retain your life to begin with. It is, it is so, 
I mean, th that is sadly, I guess, one of the very few points of discontent that I have with with the present. We have a, in the modern world, I guess. Let, let's say like this: we have this necessity to believe that somehow it is fine for a, for a you to take such bold actions against such incredibly powerful entities like you can't even understand if you are truly taking such risks you can't even get how bad the consequences will will be for you once you try to shut the system that allows you to exist and so many people live inside such realities that it is quite surprising to see that it is it, it is the worst part of that is that it's in the end quite desperating because you find out how many of those very same people also struggle with any other kind of arrangement of things because you, you have somehow never even realized that indeed you are indeed you are inside of something that could give you every single thing that you need to change it but you are actively attacking without even giving it a possibility to rearrange itself you're only pushing more and more boundaries and you're only trying to make as many changes as possible, let's say, in order to obtain that final freedom. It is, I guess, we can kind of trace it back to what I mentioned before. It is this lack of patience and this lack of understanding about how things take so long. It won't happen. If you start today, it won't be tomorrow, exactly tomorrow, that you will see the whole world become a better place. Just because you particularly realized which problems this actual world had. It, it doesn't work like that. And it doesn't benefit you. If you try to do even what you have already realized, what needs to be done. Even if that were to be true, it won't benefit you in any kind of way to have so much of a hurry. May the only kind of hurry that is useful in this sense is the capacity to realize also that the imminent, let's say, downfall of what is your own existence and the capacity to not obtain what you are saying so much that you wish is always there. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that you should desperately push for one narrative in any kind of way. That isn't the point of this, once again. It goes back into... We are simply talking about trying to work into... Or towards the embitterment of things. And if you truly want stuff to be better, you need to do it with enough patience. And... In this case, I, I am only talking about, or I started with this idea with systems, but I am not only talking about that. It doesn't mean that only if you are worried about how the whole world is arranged or what's not, you need to have patience. Once again, the virtue of, of possessing enough capacity to wait for things needs to be there for almost every kind of, of aspect in life and uh, I don't know I I guess as long as one can understand how their actions impact anything then and only then let's say the possibility to fully obtain the proper results are go is going to appear but it takes quite a lot of time for that to happen, and uh, sadly, it it doesn't happen that regularly.
that much in any kind of way. So yeah, I I don't know. It, it doesn't still it doesn't mean that this is a message with a fi with a final ending that is bad. <laughs> it always is a seed that gets planted there instead of the mind of anybody who tries to pay attention to what gets said. With enough time, it blooms into something beautiful that is the realization of perhaps things might be towards the thing that was being said by this one guy. Perhaps obviously they are completely wrong. And I need even to go as far as to correct the one who said something so incredibly incorrect, maybe. But most of the time, it, it can lead. If you are properly hearing somebody who knows what they are talking about, it can grow into something that shows you not only that they were right, but that what they were trying to tell you had any kind of meaning. So yeah, I, I guess something along those lines. Um, that I, I am happy and I am more than content and I can, I guess, in the final point always becomes that and just because of that I can have a nice sleep. Because th there is usefulness be behind what happens here, so I am happy. I, I don't need to worry about anything else. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I guess that is also kind of a good point to finish it here. Today, I, I don't think I have anything else to say. At the least in line with what I had been talking about. I, I don't believe I have that much more to add. And, um, Yeah, I don't know. I guess, okay. L let me see. I'm, I might try to look for somebody to read. I, when I, when, meanwhile, let, let me say it like this. I I have quite a lot of worries. I, I described that before. When I say worry, I talk about something that truly can keep me awake at the night because of the degree of worrisomeness that it has. And one of the worries that I had was, I, I always been, I, I had always been thinking about how problematic it was for any kind of being, yeah, for any kind of human basically who thinks to be incapable of expressing what they have. But I have found out that certainly the pleasure of being here and the pleasure of properly expressing even more the, the stuff that we talk about here is what gives a, all of this a proper justification. And the proper release of those ideas can only happen if we can continue doing this, I guess. If not certainly, and that is kind of the worst part of this whole world of only ideas, because I have just portrayed the good side. The negative side is, if you believe that when you are thinking, you might be reaching something interesting, but you decide to not share that, with enough time given, the tendency towards not even trying to share what happens inside of your mind will lead and I say it with confidence unavoidably to the destruction of the mental structure itself that allows you in this case to think it it, it might as well be something that I, I am still trying to properly express into a longer and more comprehensible speech let's say how much of an of a necessity it is for anybody to be capable of expressing themselves. It means nothing to not be capable of expressing yourself when you have the possibility of doing so. 
And not only it doesn't mean nothing for the rest, it is harmful for yourself. But anyways, that that's that's another another thing that I have been trying to get out. I I simply have been thinking about it and I I was finally, as I said before, it was a worry. I have finally understood from a certain degree how to, how to see it, to not to be so worried. So I am content with that, I guess. But yeah, anyways, I I have nothing else to add. At the least, at the least today, I am I am cooked mentally speaking. Every single brain cell that I have has abandoned me because I speaking is not so easy as I, as I would have thought at first. So <laughs> that's that's it for me. Thank you. I, I will leave. I will finally write somebody. I have found somebody. So yeah. Rad slash Rad. No, slash raid. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. The problem is also uh, <laughs> there are too many things. As I said before, there are too many things to talk about, so I, I can't even focus properly just on one. There are too many things that are necessary to think about. I I I can't choose just one. It it is a disservice to say, oh yeah, this is the most important one. The, the spontaneity of what is the ideas themselves that you can holding your mind is also quite a precious capacity that doesn't get properly appreciated most of the time but anyways we are ready so uh, no more time for me to say random stuff thanks as always for being here thanks for watching thanks for working thanks for watching the world thanks for every kind of thing and i i guess something that i had never truly been appreciative of is the capacity that people has to pay attention to what happens here so thank you for trying to understand anything that gets said here. That is, in the end, the most important thing. And as, as always, keep yourself safe, keep yourself happy, do the things that you need to do, and whatever happens, if we can, we're going to see ourselves next time. And if we don't, at the very least, thanks for being here. And thanks for every kind of gift that has been given to me in any kind of way. So, yeah. Goodbye, and now as I said before, raid whom Siano Nightingale who is playing Cult of the Lamb. Go and relax. Go go and distract yourself. <laughs> uh, this is this is the final message. Wow.